It is a beautiful day today, which is very, very good news. Because this afternoon we're going to a medieval fair and you will never believe who we're going to meet there. Mummy doesn't know about the medieval fair yet. I think she'll be really excited. So I'm going to go and tell her. And I'm super happy because I'm going to be able to wear one of my beautiful dresses by Sean Vendetta. I'm right here, Mummy. Were you just trying to phone me? Hello, I'm here. Good morning. I've come for my morning cup of tea. Yes, you know. Yes. Guess what we are doing this afternoon, Mummy. Guess? Guess. <laughs> I have no idea. We're going to a medieval fair in Chateau Roux. But you Whoa. love medieval things. You look completely stunned. In Chateau oh, Roux. medieval day. Yes, oh, apparently. I thought it'd be exciting. really fun. I think I'm going to dress up as well. Well, I think I'm already dressed up for medieval, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yeah, you look like a little medieval girl. <laughs> and you know who's going to be there? No. Who are we having lunch with? No idea. Selma. Yes. I don't believe yes. it. I was watching his vlog somewhere in uh, Holland. You know, he's in the of... area and we're all meeting at the medieval fair. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's big. That's fun. We can't believe it. Mummy's just given me my cup of tea. We're settling down for our morning chat. And I've just heard that Maria isn't well today. And tonight is the guest dinner. So I'm going to have to step in to cook this evening. Mummy, you've offered to help. Philip's yeah. offered to help. So there'll be three of us in the kitchen. Well, at least we're going to Chateau Roux for this medieval fair whilst we're there. We can go to the supermarket. I know, but I don't want to miss it. We haven't seen Selma in so long. We'll just have to pop in, go to the supermarket and then rush. I would say a good customer. That's because you're freezing. Look at you. You're covered in how many cardigans? I don't know. It's a nice day. We do not need to be cooking winter food. Day, it's a beautiful day. We're not having casserole, mummy. And we needn't worry. We've got Philip on our team. <laughs> cooking up a storm in the kitchen. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, dear. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine that anything could go wrong. No, exactly. Now, I think the dress is in here. Yep, the blue one. There we go. It's fantastic to have an opportunity to wear it. We're on our way now. We're taking two cars, Mummy and Percy behind us in the Mercedes. And that's because we had to overtake, because in fact, I couldn't keep up with my mother. <laughs> Luckily, they waited for a bit and now they're following us. But I was astonished. I haven't seen my mother drive in so long, but with the new eyesight, she was like a rocket. I'm a bit worried now. <laughs> and we're going with Wendy and Pam. You excited about the medieval fair? Yes. yes. It's been nice to see Selma again. I know. Yeah. It's so exciting. It was really hard to find parking, so we've dropped everyone off at an entrance miles away. We've got no idea where we are, and we're going to try and find everyone. Hello, there's Selma. <laughs> Get to see you. It's too long. And look, you're also wearing yes. Shane Vendetta today? Yes, this is for Shane. This is my present from La 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 Friends. Oh, really? That was in Caddo at the Chateau? It was in Caddo at the Chateau. Yeah. But this I don't know. This is from one of my festivals where I went in the medieval festivals. It looks a little bit like Lord of the Rings. Hey, do you see how it works? Yeah, it's close, and yeah. then... Wow, I like it. What do you think of Philip's cape? It's very nice. It is pretty magnificent, isn't it? Philip, why is the hood not up? It's really glinting in the sunlight as well. Well, that's why. I don't blind people. Is it also made by Sean? Yeah, 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 Sean made it too. Let's have a little look. <laughs> look how cute. <laughs> look how adorable. It's like wearing a blanket because I'm cold. I have noticed, and I am blaming you for this, Selma, no one else is in medieval costume. You texted me last night saying, now, don't say you've got nothing to wear. I know you've got something to wear. So I thought everyone would be dressed up. But it, it is a thing. Uh, on some point, it was started also in Holland, a festival, and not so many dressed up. But if, if some people start to dress up, other people see and think, next, next year time. I'm going to do that too. So basically, you're telling us we're trendsetters. Yes, we are. You, Philip. <laughs> well, I have been told before, <laughs> so I mean... I'm not surprised. <laughs> it looks like that. You could have warned me, though. No. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Let's go explore Let's the farm. Have here. you already seen everything? Not everything, no. No, no. no. Anything you need to point out to us? What have we missed no, out on? I don't know. I saw. Look at that. that. Ooh, what a new color. Oh. oh, wow. Sam's favorite. Oh, that looks very good. It looks not very appetizing. Well, I'm going to agree. Like Can't put yeah, my finger does. on it, but delicious. look at the inside. It looks delicious. It tastes like Christmas pudding. It does a little bit, doesn't mm. it? It does. I think it's so delicious. The raisins and the... Um, yeah, and yeah. she says it's delicious with goat cheese. So we could maybe have that tonight oh. for my emergency. Yes. I have to cook at the last minute meal. Yes. <laughs> so you made it yourself. <laughs> I bought the fruit poo. Mind Easy <laughs> to digest. <laughs> Already been digested. That's what I was trying to say, yes. It is absolutely delicious. You'll it's see. Lovely. Lovely. Actually, you won't because it's got it's almonds in it, but everyone else will see. <laughs> Actually, I just realised that last night Maria was cooking and we had goat's cheese for the starter, so I can't do that tonight. That would have been quite a good solution. So I think I might hop to the supermarket and get some prawns, make a prawn cocktail, and we can have, well, I keep wanting to call it fruit poo. It's not medieval pudding. We can have medieval pudding uh, as part of the dessert. Here we go, more and more ideas coming to us. <laughs> it's a more um... <laughs> It does look very similar. <laughs> Too similar to what we've already got, I feel. Yes. Looks intriguing. Oh, they look That's wonderful. Are you getting anything for Tatiana? No, You're on the lookout. She's very... Uh, how do you say? Difficult to buy for? Yeah, because yeah. it's a very special taste. <laughs> but you'll know it if you see it. Yeah. I like the hair clips. That's so pretty. Yeah, that would be pretty for Tatiana. Oh, yes, she's wearing the hair. Yeah, yeah she's got such beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. Love soap. Oh well, perfect. Natural soap. Here is the soap. <laughs> oh, did you see these? Look, look, they look just like cupcakes. <laughs> and there's so many different ones. She Bonjour. makes. Bonjour. <laughs> I have to say, Tatiana makes incredible soap. Yeah. So nice. Good. Yeah. What it's flavors fun. does she like? What scents? We've chosen this one for Tatiana. It's natural, but because it's made with amazing olive oil, it's got the most delicious smell. The Enchanter's Tavern. Oh, that sounds very good. What would you like to drink? I'm driving. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wendy, now you're not in medieval costume no. because Selmar yeah. didn't tell you to dress up. <laughs> Yeah, yes, style. I have to say, style. I think it's you are the most still a trendsetter. <laughs> you are, you're the most stylish woman here. I love that outfit so much. I have to say, Philip, I can see you in that with the brooch, the tie, everything. It's it's stunning. It's really stunning. Quite a few websites that sell sort of repro vintage clothes. Yes, love it. And the brooch on the tie. That was a freebie when I bought the blouse. No. Yeah, they sent it as a gift. Fabulous. Yeah. Cheers, Selma. Good to see you. So tell me everything about what's happening in yeah. your life. Well, we found the chateau, or actually the chateau found us. <laughs> where are we going to live? With Tatiana. With Tatiana. And where are we going to start up our events, the Dinan Ensemble and the Medieval Festival. So it's, it's happening. It's going to happen, yeah. And I think a lot of people know the one. It is from Vivian and Bill, Chateau yes. de Soulages. The first chateau yeah, that you went to after La Lante. We, we because, yeah, they're such a nice, great couple. And they were looking for a couple to start up a business there because they also wanted to organize things. Yes. But somebody has to do it. So it is such a good match. And, uh, yeah, they're great people. He already uh, made the side buildings uh, for to make a big ballroom in there. He wants to make a little ballroom in the chateau. So yeah, I'm, 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 it's heaven. It is really heaven. And when are you hoping to start? Uh, there is some work to do, so it's difficult to say because I, we have to make an uh, like a, uh, see how long it takes to, to to do all the work. 
and then we can plan the, the first uh, yes. delay on so so I, I think six months and how far are you from Lalande how easy is it going to be for us to come down for a bit it's, of dancing it's not that far it's three hours from, uh, oh we can do that yeah, easily it's, it's not that bad that's nothing that Paris. <laughs> you got your dancing shoes ready you mean these ones <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's the ones. Last time, do you remember when you were teaching us how to do the waltz and we fell over? It's so lovely, we're all together. Bit disappointed because they're not starting the roasting of the meat for baps and things until later and we'll be gone by then. But they do have galettes and crepes, so I'm gonna have a savory galette. That's mine being created with chorizo, honey and goat's cheese. Gosh, that looks good. This is fantastic. Yeah, I'm so glad that you came. <laughs> oh, me too. It is so good. Yes, yes. Have you already eaten? Yes, yes we've just had the crepes. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to my... What flavours have you gone for? I've gone for the traditional lemon and sugar. Oh, you've gone for the sweet? Yeah. And you two are on sweet as well. Mm. Yeah, mm. Lemon and I'm sugar. greedy and I've gone for both. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I really like what you've done there. I might, might copy you later. <laughs> Who is this creature? I'm trying to find a name beginning with a P. Because it's a pocket mouse, so it's got to begin with a P. Yes. yes. I was going to call it Pavlova, actually, because it's got a valley skirt. Oh, just so sweet. Oh. I do not want to go, but Mummy has staged an intervention. <laughs> Mummy, I don't want to go. I don't want to oh, I don't want to go. I know, we're happy. <laughs> I like the medieval bath. Somebody else has to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, you and Percy are cooking tonight. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm not feeling too to good, actually. I know you try to cook. cook. <laughs> well, actually, we're going to eat out. <laughs> I know you can cook. Okay, fine, I'm coming home. <laughs> Salma, I would have loved to stay longer. I'm loving it here. And this evening, I'm sure it'll be wonderful when they have all those delicious meat roasting over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next time. Yeah, enjoy yourself. But Philip and I will definitely come and visit you in the new chateau because the owners kindly invited us. So yes. I'm, I'm so excited. All right, see you soon. Okay, bye. Give bye. lots of kisses to Tatiana. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> the what stall? Tea. There was a tea stall. Don't tell me that so, now, so Wendy. I've got to go now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are all going straight home in the Mercedes, yes. and we'll go. Do the shopping and hurry back. Yes, and I just realized you didn't bring a change of clothes, did you? But <laughs> I can't believe it. I didn't even think about it. Selma said I needed a costume. I put the costume on. I, I completely forgot. I have to go to the supermarket. I'm mean, going to have to go to the supermarket dressed like this. <sighs> We are running so late. To be fair to Mummy and Philip, they have been trying to drag me away from the medieval fair for quite some time. But now, huh? well, someone and I hadn't seen each other for ages, so we were catching up, and it was really lovely. But now it's four thirty. And you've got to make it the guest dinner. Gotta, gotta the make it three well. course dinner for how many people? I don't even know how many 14. people I'm cooking for. Fourteen people. Three course dinner for fourteen people. It's four thirty, and we still haven't been to the supermarket. Yes, which is not concerning at all. Oh, look how wonderful it is. It's so sad that we're leaving. Oh, meanie. <laughs> Great. Now I am walking into the local supermarket in a medieval gown. Everyone's being very polite and pretending not to have noticed so far. Just another run of the mill outfit. Okay, medieval dresses definitely were not designed for plus. Oh, there we go. I keep snagging on my train as I walk. <laughs> Done, finally. Time to get home and cook this meal, maybe in a different outfit. We just got back, it is 10 to six. Can it be done? Dinner's at eight, 14 people. Although time is of the essence, I'm gonna quickly get changed because I think that the whole train thing, whilst very glamorous, is a bit tricky in the kitchen. You can see we've been let loose in the kitchen. You're busting out the spode. And how does my mother feel about the spode being used? Well, this is not her tea service, so I think. No. Uh -oh, <laughs> the not face! Fine. The I face! <laughs> We're only using the soup bowls. We're using them for the prawn salad. 
Shouldn't it be in a transparent dish? No, I think it'll be fun in that. And we're trialing it for Christmas, aren't we? And now to make the sauce of a thousand islands. Yep, just tomato ketchup and mayonnaise. I love this sauce and it's so ridiculously easy. Then to this, I'm going to add some lemon juice, a tiny touch of Tabasco, some paprika and Worcestershire sauce, if we have it. Oh, we do. Whee, there it is. A wee dash, that should do it. Now I've got a mixture here of king prawns, little tiny prawns and crayfish. I'll mix that all into the sauce. It usually just calls for some chives, which I actually have, and a little bit of dill, but instead I'm going to use chervil. I absolutely love chervil. It's slightly aniseedy, but it's got a bit of a hint of parsley as well. I think it's great in a prawn cocktail. I have got avocados the size of dragon eggs. Look at that, it's the same size as my face. I, I can hide behind the avocado. Didn't Bobby really send you for a bag of carrots? Yes. Yeah, just a few. Are they from the garden? Fantastic. Oh, fabulous. Okay, lovely, lovely. They should go some way. <laughs> I think so. We're not going to starve, that's the main thing. I'm about to marinate the chicken. Look at this perfect production team, honestly. We've all pulled together. We have the carrot section over here. Absolutely magnificent work, Percy. Well, Isabel says I should peel them and stop caressing them. But I think, Mummy, you're very lucky that Percy likes to caress things. He's a very gentle man. Be thankful for what you have. This is magnificent, honestly. You two. This is the dream it's, team back no, in the kitchen. It's the carrot team. <laughs> Maria had got the most beautiful Girol mushrooms. So I must use them. I'm going to just make them in butter, really simple, butter, parsley, and garlic. And you must be happy to see this, Philip. Doesn't it feel a bit autumnal? Ah. Mushrooms using his star things. 39 minutes till dinner is served. And we're running out to look for parsley. It's so nice being able to just dash out into the garden if we find that we haven't got something in the kitchen. Okay, fingers crossed for parsley. This one nearly fooled me. For a minute I thought we had parsley, but no. It's delicious coriander, but that won't do with the mushrooms. And this one is coriander too. This is so disappointing. Whenever I want coriander, I find parsley. When I want parsley, I find coriander. The fates are cruel. I found the sign, and I think that the sum total of our parsley is these four leaves. <laughs> oh dear. That's not going to go very far with our mushrooms. I think we just finished the last batch and this batch, which is sewn all the way down there, is too small to harvest. Do you know where there's any parsley, Sif? Any idea? Hansel, Gretel, Gillian? No? More sorrel and mint than you can shake a stick at. Rich in horseradish. Swimming in rosemary, marjoram and thyme. I'm just going around humming parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme. All of which we have, except for the parsley. Yeah. And people appreciate when there's no catastrophe. You're right. You're right. This does make me appreciate the days that we do have parsley. Yes. Uh, what are you looking for? Thai wraps. Thai wraps? What are they for? Are they part of the meal? Is there something we need them for? <laughs> We're going to put them around the carrots and see who can <laughs> handle them. And obviously, I saw parsley in the supermarket and I thought, no, no, we don't need that. We have that in our vegetable garden. What's happening here? Basket broke. That's what the cable ties were for, That's Percy. Right, they were for. Percy told me it was to wrap up the carrots individually, <laughs> little bundles. That's quite ingenious, actually. Yeah, nice. Right, we are there. We're at the point of serving the starter with seven full minutes to go until dinner. That is not bad. I need a little other spoon to use with this spoon. It's a miracle. It's eight o'clock. The starter is ready. And the hair is down. I got changed. I didn't think I was going to have time well to get done. changed. <laughs> well done. Thank you, Mama. Couldn't have done it without you and Percy. Seriously, good team. I have to say, though, I have to say, 
I much prefer it when Maria does the cooking. Yeah. But it's jolly good that we managed to pull together. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Yeah. And we're using the spode as well. This is the first time we've had this combo. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope that the food will live up to the table now. I'm worried. It's ready and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We have prawn cocktail as a starter. This is a little bit of an in-joke because all of us have our favourite starter is prawn cocktail, which is really retro and kind of 80s uh, starter. But we always have it on Christmas Day and we always have it in these plates, which is why we've got all of this out. So it's crayfish, prawns, king prawns uh, in a thousand island dressing and lots of avocado. Oh, as well. Beautiful. I think the starter went well, big relief, and now I've run through to just start getting the main course ready for plating. In the absence of parsley, I've added chives and garlic to the mushroom and a little bit more butter. They're basically done, I'm just warming them up. We're taking the chicken out. Mummy's just keeping it warm whilst we get the plate. And now I'm making a juice with the mushroom sauce and lots of pan fash. It's all gone through. I'm going to sit down for the main course. Please do start uh, before it gets too, too cold. <laughs> it's just roast potatoes and chicken and carrots from the garden and a sauce with creme fraiche and mushrooms with girol. Lovely. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. Phew. Apparently everyone liked the main course. Were you worried? Oh. For, yeah, I was worried. I, wasn't worried I love Maria's cooking so much. I didn't want to have to like, was delicious. Oh, take over. Um, I love it. Thank you. And look at this. The perfect team here have got it all perfectly sorted. And these are our very, very first figs from the garden for the year. Yeah. So we haven't got very many. Each person gets half. Yeah, it's half. <laughs> At least we get to taste it. And there we have, me I was going to say it again. I'm not going to say medieval poo. We have medieval pudding. High five, mummy. We did it. Oh, that's... Oh, don't plug this. No, no, this is better, isn't it? This is an Americanism. We don't need to carry it on. And cast. <laughs> I do have to admit that I did not make the pie. We knew it was a crisis, so Natty went out and bought apple pie. But very excitingly, they are the very, very first figs from the garden this year. That's why we've only got half each, because literally this is all the figs that we had, the, the first ones to be ripe. And also, the strange brown substance is uh, from the medieval fair today, because we thought you like to taste some of the things at, med at the medieval fair. And uh, they're really good. I tried it. It's really nice. Very nice. Yeah. That was quite some day. I am absolutely exhausted. But going to bed happy. Everyone was well fed. And it was so good to see Selma again. Ah, and now, a long night's sleep. Thank you all for joining us for another day of La Land Life. A huge thank you to all of my patrons, especially Donald Gutmiller, Crystal Hardy, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff and David and Tom Henderson. And for all of my patrons, if you haven't seen this week's patron video yet, it's an in-depth tour of the garden hosted by the one and only Kirsty. And thanks to absolutely all of you for watching. I look forward to seeing you again on Sunday.